Okay, for the kettlebell bottoms up carry, you're going to start by swinging the kettlebell either between your legs or beside your legs. You're going to swing it up to this position. If you can't swing, maybe you just support it up to here. Rather than crushing the kettlebell as you hold, you're going to stabilize using your scapula and your rotator cuff. So keep your shoulder depressed, keep your shoulder blades scooped and wrapped under so you're using your serratus, using the whole cup to hold the shoulder. And the elbow stays directly under the wrist, wrist is under the hand, hand is under the handle, and the bell is above that. So it's a stacking. We don't want this, we don't want this. I can only even show you that because it's a light kettlebell, but we don't want to be white knuckling crushing the bell to compensate for a lack of activity under here with the stabilizers. So you're holding, you're almost imagining that you're scooping your shoulder blade under to support your tricep, although they won't be touching. This is the easiest variation, nice and low, shoulder and handle in line. 90 degrees becomes more challenging to maintain the scoop and it's also a less stable position, so you've got to be stronger. Then you can work on about 120, even harder. And then overhead, funnily enough, Overhead isn't as hard, but obviously it can be risky, so be careful with this one if you're doing carries or holds this way. Generally, we're going to be working with this position first, then we'll be adding load. Once we've added load successfully, we will move higher. Alternatively, rather than adding load first, you can go from here to here to here. Once you can accumulate 30 seconds of hold time in that position comfortably, move up in weight and go back to the bottom so progressing incrementally. That's the bottoms up hold.